To repeat a character or characters n number of times, we can use the REPT, also called repeat function in Excel. Suppose I want to display the letter M four times in this cell. For that, I will select this cell, equal, type in REPT, open parentheses. Repeat function has two arguments. In other words, we have to give two inputs for the repeat function to return the desired result. First argument text. In this case, I want to display the letter M. So M is the text here. Double quotes. M. Double quotes. Comma. Second argument number times. That is the number of times this text is to be repeated. Here I want to display M four times. So four should be the second argument. Four. Close parentheses. When I press the enter key, this cell is displaying the letter M four times. Now, if you want to repeat the word apple four times, replace M with apple. Numbers also can be repeated using this function. Now to repeat the character or characters specified in this column, as many times as the number specified in this second column, equal repeat function, open parentheses, first argument text, select the cell containing the text to be repeated, comma, second argument number times, select the cell containing number, enter. See this question mark is repeated four times. Let's copy this formula into the cells below. Now about two practical uses of the repeat function. A combination of repeat and len functions can be used to pad numbers or text with n number of zeros or any other character. See this table here. I have a small list of numbers and text. Now I want to add zeros before these numbers and text in such a way that the length of the output will always be 10. Let me show you the formula which will return this result. In the formula bar, equal repeat function, open parentheses, first argument of repeat function is text. I will be using zeros to pad these numbers and text. So zero will be the text, zero, comma, second argument number of times. We need to maintain the length of the output as 10. For that, 10, minus len function open parentheses select the cell containing the text or number to be padded with zeros close parentheses once again close parentheses ampersand once again select the cell containing the text or number to be padded enter see three zeros got added before this number and the length of the output is 10. now let's copy this formula into the cells below And if you want to use some other character instead of zero, modify this formula by replacing zero with that particular character. To pad these text strings with asterisk sign, replace zero with double quotes, asterisk, double quotes. Repeat function can also be used to create insult charts. See this table here. We have the population of some of the largest cities in India. Now to display this population using data bars, equal repeat function, open parentheses, first argument text. We will be using the pipe symbol for creating data bar. For that, double quotes, pipe, double quotes, comma, second argument number times, Select the cell containing population, enter. We can see the pipe symbol repeated 93 times. Now to bring these pipe symbols closer, we will be using a font called Playbill. We'll select this cell, font, search for Playbill, apply. Copy this formula under the cells below. We can change the color of the bars if we want to.
To highlight these bars against population greater than 100 lakhs, select the cells containing data bars. In the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. In this input box, equal, type in the address of the first cell containing population, C3, greater than or equal to 100, wherever the population is greater than 100, I want those bars to be displayed in red. For that, format, font, color, red, ok, once again ok. See the data bars against population with greater than 1 crore are red.